So when solving those radical equations, first thing, isolate one of the radicals, square both sides to get rid of that thing. If a radical still exists, we need to do that same process again. Isolate it, square both sides to get rid of it. And in the end, we want to check all of our solutions. So we're actually going to use this equation, this radical equation, because it can be used to approximate the distance, d in miles, that a pers can, person can see to the horizon from a height, h, in feet. So to kind of give a picture to this thing, what's happening? I've got my person on top of the mountain, and they are some distance up into the air, some height in feet. And they can actually see this distance d off into the horizon. So we've got a little triangle going on. And we're going to use that to answer a few questions. So how far to the horizon can you see through an airplane window at an altitude of 30,000 feet? So to kind of fill in our little picture again, here's my plane. I know, so accurate, wonderful. And it is 30,000 feet up into the air. And I want to see, okay, we're at the back of the plane. How far can we see off into the horizon? What distance, d, is associated with this? So I have information about the height. Let's plug it in. I'm trying to solve for distance. I know my height is 30,000 feet. So when we multiply on the inside, we're looking at the square root of 60,000, which on the exam you're going to have nicer numbers than this to work with, because that's real big. But that evaluates out to approximately 245 miles. And again, we can approximate that with a calculator, going in, take the square root, 60,000, hit enter. We can round. And we have units of miles just based off our equation, what was given to us. Wouldn't really make sense if I was 30,000 feet up in the air and it could only see out the window 245 feet, given that there aren't clouds and all that jazz. But our units need to make sense. So go ahead and take the next one. A sailor climbs 40 feet up the mast of a ship, ship to the crow's nest. How far can he see to the horizon? So in this case, again, drawing it out, what's happening? Little person is climbing up, and he is 40 feet in the air. We want to figure out the distance. How far can he see from up there? So I've got the distance is 2 times 40. And there's lots of different ways that we can evaluate this. I'm just going to work by multiplying them together. We've got the square root of 80. And I need to be able to break that into a perfect square and something else. So 80 can be broken into 16 times 5, the biggest perfect square in the leftovers. So it's exactly equal to 4 square root 5 miles, but we don't talk like that in regular life. So if we approximate it, it is around nine miles that he can see from that crow's nest. And again, we use the calculator to approximate. Four times square root of five, hit enter, and we can round if needed. So now let's look at a few, if I have the distance, and I'm trying to figure out how, how high up in the air the thing or person is. So the next, how high is a ranger station? If the ranger is able to see out to a fire on the horizon, 15.4 miles away. So let's see. And again, we'll need a calculator to approximate these. But on the exam, I will just leave it in its exact form. So what do we have? I'm trying to solve for h, and I know the distance is 15.4 miles. So 15.4 is equal to the square root of 2h. We have d. We're solving for h. So that radical is already isolated. So to start solving, we got to square both sides, get rid of that radical. We need to dig out h. 15.4 squared is 237.16, and that is equal to 2h now, since we're undoing that radical. Dividing by 2 on both sides, h is equal to 118.58.
And again, we can use a calculator. So, how high is he up? About 119 feet tall. Is that ranger station? And the last one for you. How far above sea level must a sailor climb on the mast of a ship in order to see 10.2 miles out to an iceberg? So again, we have the distance in miles. We're trying to figure out H. So I'm trying to figure out H, and I know that it's equal to 10.2 miles. So again, what had to happen first? Square both sides, undo the radical, and over here, this turns into 104.04. Right hand side is 2H. We need H on its own. And it is equal to 52.02. So how high up does he have to be? About 52 feet up to be able to see out to the iceberg.